Oh, this is for, you know, I can't remember. <laughs> this is the new setup. New old, because... Okay, so I bought this Marshall. It's a Code 50. And I had a 6505 Plus. I didn't like the way it sounded. And plus I was running... See this box back here? That is holding four preamp tubes. This one. Where the wires are coming out, going down into here. So this... And it's... It's... Would have been a lot easier if I didn't run stereo, but because I do, it's not easy. So here's the, it's a, I bought an Audio Technica, a couple hundred bucks, or a hundred, can't remember. It was over a hundred, I know that. To get a stereo condenser that I, I, this is where I put it, right here, boop. So that's that, so you hear both amps. So I took out 6505, and put back the Viper, since it's just solid state, solid state, and tube. So that's the only tube I got to worry about are those tubes in there. No power. The power to you know, there's no power tube. You just need preamp tubes to overdrive those. There's a switch on there to crank it up, and then I use this overdrive too, which is Zach. All MXR. MXR Zach, MXR Eddie, Phase 90, MXR Carbon Copy, MXR Black Label, uh, chorus, stereo chorus, which is designed to sound like Randy's chorus which was his sound on the diary tour and then it goes out of that into that out of that into each amp so there you go There's a lot of junk on that amp because I, I had it on something and I had to put it somewhere because I this is just a line of amps so there's the Marshall there's the PV there's my base cabinet, and the Ampeg, and there's the Johnson that just, just sits down there. I don't use it anymore. And there you go. And then these two cases are filled with effects. And see, this is why I need to buy a new house. Because this is not working. Because all the guitars are in one room, and I'd rather have them just on the wall. Instead of just my TV. So this it sucks. So I'll be moving to a new house, hopefully hopefully this year but someone wanted to see the setup so this is the setup it's really basic that those are the only effects I use and really the only effects I use are this well, these two all the time sometimes when I'm doing solo crap you know and sometimes when I'm just because and then that's the tube the one my friend made so it's just very basic it's got four uh, preamp tubes in it, so that's why I took away the 6505 and just the two solid state power amp. Boop! And I think I got the sound. That's pretty close. And today I used my Ibanez. It's all Ibanez except for the body is actually a strap. So it's a strap body, Ibanez neck, uh, Seymour Duncan, uh, JB, and uh, 59 pickup. That's an Ibanez, yeah, Ibanez tremolo, one volume, the stupid five-way switch, and then my kill switch. And that's it. And I got a Motley Crue sticker there for some reason. And, of course, it says Michael D up there, and on the back there's a sticker. I usually take those plates off so I can hit the strings and make noise with them, but I didn't on this, I don't know. I'm not sure what that says. And that's it. So that's the one I used today. But this is the, the setup. These are the two amps I'm using now. The uh, Viper. Back to that. It's, it's trusty. And uh, the friggin' 6505 just hissed. And it didn't sound right. And you got one tone and that was it. And it's the wrong Eddie tone for me. And this one actually, you can get some pretty good stuff out of it. You put it on the JCM 800 uh, setting, which I do have it on. When it pops up, you'll see. Very simple. Why is it making that noise? It didn't turn everything off. Very quiet, too. But see, JCM 800, overdrive, and then I just diddle around with the things. And to get that extra warm tube sound, it's coming out of that. This thing right here. I don't want to touch it because I screw it up every time. But there you go. Alright, that's it. 
that'll be part two of my video for today. First part is playing that, and the second part is you getting to see this, and more junk that people can complain about. But that's what happens when you get divorced, buddy, and you live in two states. You know, because I go back and forth between here and Ute. All right, later.